It's been a couple of years since the legendary actor Sean Connery passed on, but throughout his life, he spent time in some lovely homes across the globe. While he spent his final days in a secluded hideaway in an area of the Bahamas known as Lyford Cay with his wife and family, prior to that his home was a stunning estate in the French Riviera for two decades. Also, Michael and I dropped our very own house tour of our new home we moved into earlier this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're actually up to. Oh, and once you watch, let me know what you think of our home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Sean Connery. Hearing that name brings back a flood of memories, especially ever since his generational talent passed on to the big MI6 guy a couple of years back. There's no denying that Sean was best known for his portrayal of James Bond, but his life's work was also so much more than just that, and he'd win a Golden Globe, be FTA and an Academy Award before his retirement became official in the early 2000s. Over a career that spanned more than 70 films, the man who was often considered to be the greatest living Scotsman actually spent a surprisingly small amount of time in his home country. John considered himself to be something of a worldly individual, and he acquired homes in both Greece and the Bahamas, both of which he would keep far away from prying eyes. But one home that he couldn't keep under lock and key was his home base for two decades an estate located in the French Riviera known historically as Le Roque Fleury that was built back in the 1920s. Which means that today, in memory of Sean Connery's incredible career, I'm going to take you inside his former home so you can finally find out for yourself what living the James Bond lifestyle is all about. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. Sean's history with La Roque Fleury, which roughly translates to the Flowery Rock, began in the late 70s. Shortly after his marriage to painter Micheline Roquebrune, these two would move into this palatial estate. They'd spend the next dozen or so years becoming such an attraction that the locals stopped referring to the property by its original name and simply started calling it Sean Connery's house, something they apparently continue to do to this day. Perched high on the rocks in the neighborhood known as Cap de Nice, a favorite haunt of many royal families, as well as the likes of Coco Chanel, Pablo Picasso, and Grace Kelly, this epic estate boasts some sweeping views of what's known as the Bay of Angels. In fact, west facing views have been factored into the design of the house so much that there isn't a single room that doesn't take advantage of some of these sites, including the nearby Port of Nice, the city's crescent-shaped bay, and in the distance, the snow-capped mountains. The residence dates back to 1928 and sits on 1.25 acres of land, boasting a colossal five floors with more than 10,700 square feet of living space and a distinctly French 19th century sense of style. In fact, you could probably say that a location this nice wouldn't feel out of place in a James Bond movie. And guess what? It was actually in one. Okay, much like that original Casino Royale, some of us might not count Never Say Never Again as an official James Bond film, but it's still the last time Connery would ever assume the role for himself. One veteran French film writer for a local newspaper recalled the experience of traveling to this home to watch Never Say Never, Get Made, and told People Magazine, I had a set visit to the house, it was a long time ago, but it made an amazing impression. The entire day was Sean Connery, Kim Basinger, and the most incredible views of the Mediterranean I've ever seen. Huh, it seems like people can't talk about this place for more than a couple minutes without bringing up those views. And while that might have have you thinking Sean would use this place primarily for pleasurable reasons, like, you know, say a holiday or two each year? The truth is that he actually lived here full time for all of the 80s and a good chunk of the 90s as well. But now that we know a bit about this home's backstory, let's take a look inside. For the most part, the design of Sean's former estate is decidedly retro, with a decor that incorporates Art Deco elements along with natural materials from the region. Many of those stylish Art Deco floors 
flourishes have been maintained, including the home's marble staircase with its ornate wooden handrail. Even the home's original elevator facade with its intricate handcrafted wrought iron and marble detailing is still around. As for the main gathering spaces, they are gigantic, spacious salons that boast large windows that amplify those Mediterranean sight lines, not to mention all of that incredible sun. At the edges of the property, imposing looking security gates swing open to reveal a paved driveway that winds all the way down towards the main house. There, steps lead from a covered entrance into the home's grand salon, with floor to ceiling windows open out to a gorgeous terrace. The elevator will whisk you right up to the home's prime suite, which sprawls across the property's entire top floor. Here you'll find his and hers bathrooms, a dressing room, as well as an expansive walk-in closet. And like many of the home spaces, this bedroom boasts wide planked wooden floors. Also located in the suite are a pair of French doors that lead out to a private balcony. And once you're done taking in those views, you can head up to the nearby staircase to enjoy the huge rooftop deck. Then on the fourth floor, there's an enticing spa, an extra ensuite bedroom, and a fully stocked gym. While getting your body and fighting shape, you might happen to notice that the windows in this gym overlook one of the home's most unique features of all, its indoor swimming pool, which has been set into the estate's rocky foundations. Rounding out the main floor is a family room, dining room, and kitchen, the latter two of which include terraces of their own that overlook the sunken gardens. Outside of the main property, there are two secluded guest villas, each of which comes with a pair of ensuite bedrooms and a living room. There is also an extra live-in suite above the two-car garage that's meant to be for any potential live-in staff. Finally, located on the exterior grounds is an extensive set of trails running around the landscaped floral gardens. There's even an overhanging seawalk that leads down to the lower garden area and has been constructed to allow visitors to get as close as possible to the water without getting wet. Sean would eventually sell this idyllic paradise sometime in the 90s for an unknown sum. Since then, the home has undergone a series of renovations that increased its size when its present owners purchased two adjacent properties that now comprise the guest villas and combined the estate into what it is today. They also installed the outdoor circular saltwater pool as well. After making these additions, the current owners look to move off the property by listing it in 2020 for 26 million pounds or roughly 31.1 million dollars. Unfortunately, once Sean passed, the appeal of owning his former home appeared to dry up. In fact, as best as we can tell, this place is still on the market to this day and its price tag has been slashed to 15.5 million dollars. As for Sean, he spent his final days living out his life in a secluded hideaway in an area of the Bahamas known as Lyford K with his wife and family. Then, in October 2020, death finally came for what many consider to be the greatest James Bond of them all when Sean Connery passed away from natural causes in his sleep at the age of 90 years old. At least he got to live a lifestyle second to none while he was here, and after taking a look at the home where he spent a healthy chunk of his life, it strikes me that good living might just to be the secret to a long and prosperous existence. I hope you all enjoyed this special look into the former home of Sean Connery. Please let me know what you thought and if there's another celebrity who's already passed but you'd like to check out the former homes of, be sure to drop their name in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!